So our body is a, it's a biological system, which is like a machine, and the maintenance of our body is very important. And that the maintenance of our conditions, which is necessary for our life within our body's internal environment. For example, sodium concentration or blood pressure and body temperature need to be consistently maintained. And that property we call homeostasis. And an important strategy for our body to maintain our homeostasis is a, a feedback system, especially so-called negative feedback, which means when these parameters get higher, we have a system to put it down. When it becomes lower, then we put it higher. So in negative direction, feedback allows us to keep our homeostasis. And multiple feedback mechanisms are operating in our body to maintain our steady state condition. What is steady state? We call a body is a steady state when the parameters that define our body do not change over certain period of time. For example, like mass or temperature condition, like we know that our body mass doesn't change much, then that's a, a good time, it's a steady state. And another descriptive word for this is a equilibrium, which is a state of perfect balance. And we need to be careful using equilibrium versus steady state. For example, molecules in chemical aspects, molecules are still in motion within a system at equilibrium, but there are no changes in the composition of the system with time. And when we call equilibrium, that can refer to, let's say, chemical equilibrium, just like described here, or physical equilibrium, such as when there's a physical body, the net force from the outside becomes zero, then the, the mass or the, the body can stay the same. And, and it, it's a, a force equilibrium, or energy state can be equilibrium. And the important aspect of equilibrium is if the system is at equilibrium, it will stay the same forever. And we think about our living body. Uh, in fact, our living body as a biological system cannot be at equilibrium until our body died and then decomposed and it will not change because we are consistently um, making, let's say, ion concentration gradient to keep our body working and making. And, and that's not an equilibrium state. So to give you a little bit more explanation for this, a process, uh, I want to give you a state, steady state, but not at equilibrium, an example of this. So steady state means a not changing with time over some time of interval. So if the system is not changing over time, some time interval, we can define as a steady state. Let me give you a simple example of a house, which has a furnace in a cold day. Uh, the heat generated from the furnace, furnace uh, will heat up the, the house. So the temperature is high while outside the temperature low. So that heat flux from the furnace to inside the house can become the same as the, from the house to the outside. Then the inside, the temperature of the house can be maintained constant for a while. That we can call as a steady state. However, if the fuel runs out, eventually it will happen from the furnace, then um, only that point uh, the temperature between the house and the outside environment will reach the same and there's no net heat flux between the house as a system and environment. So in that case, we call it as an equilibrium. So the house is maintained at constant temperature and that is a steady state while this is not an equilibrium state. But eventually this can reach thermal equilibrium. Let's consider another example. Um, so here we, we have a, a big reservoir of molecules and there's a membrane with 
between them with a small chamber, let's say. And the concentration is higher in this uh, dark area compared to lower area. Then, you know, through the membrane, if there's concentration difference, there's a, if, uh, the diffusion will make the movement of this molecule through the membrane from high to lower concentration. So there occurs a flux from high to low. However, this concentration of this, this chamber from this chamber can be maintained for a while due to the presence of a huge reservoir. Then this state can become known as a steady state. On the other hand, eventually, even if these reservoirs run out of uh, changes and they, the concentration of molecules become the same, there's no net flux. And this is called equilibrium state. So all of this is to describe homeostasis in, in physiological systems in our body. So we consider like about four physiological systems and we'll discuss about the homeostasis. So for example, uh, respiratory system um, is through our lung system and that provides oxygen uh, to the circulating blood and removing carbon dioxide from blood to the outside. So that mass material transfer is happening in the respiratory system. What about digestive system or GI tract or gastrointestinal system? What it does is maintain a balance of nutrients in the body uh, by mechanical and chemical digestion. And what about circulatory system? We can consider two kinds of circulatory system. One is cardiovascular system and the other is lymphatic system. So the cardiovascular system, in fact, providing oxygen rich blood from the lungs and to the tissues or cells and collect at the same time waste. So that's the circulatory system keeps our homeostasis. The lymphatic system maintains the fluid balance in our body by collecting excessive fluid uh, from the body and also drain into the heart. The kidney system, renal system, what it does is eliminating waste and end products of metabolism through generation of urine. And very important uh, function of the renal system is it controls the fluid volume of our body by regulating sodium concentration and by direct elimination of water from the body by filtering the blood plasma and generating a urine. So thank you for your attention. Now, uh, before finishing, I want to uh, give you an exercise solution. So, so it's, a, uh, it's an ap application that uh, how much water is generated inside our body is a question. So this is an example and uh, very curiously, we can consider an, an experiment of a human subject can be monitored uh, for the following quantities. So we want to know how much water is generated in our body. Then maybe we can consider define the system as a human body and then we count all the input and output of water and by this we can consider how much water is generated inside the body. So over 24 hour period, let's say we are in homeostasis. That means our body water doesn't change over this time of interval. So we can collect the data and count how much of water intake. So the intake of water consumption in food and drinks of this person, we measure it as a 2.1 liter. And through the kidney, we generate urine. So we measure the amount of urine per day as a 1.4 little of water. And of course, there are other ways of the water to living our system boundary. So for example, sweat, maybe 100 milliliter of sweat is lost per day and in breathing itself uh, contains uh, humidity. So 
about 350 milliliters of water can be lost during the breeding and other kinds, for example, feces and, and 450 milliliter can be lost to, due to others. So think about this by using this data, we can consider how much of net generation of water for consumption inside the body. So here's the sample solution. Remember, through this system boundary, the mass balance, the rate of accumulation comes uh, through the boundary inside and outside of the flux. And then the net is the generation minus consumption. So in steady state uh, condition, accumulation will be zero. So our interest of what, how much are being generated as a net is generation minus consumption is the out minus in flux, which is the water lost in the, our body and water intake. And we reach the conclusion about 200 milliliter of water is as a net generate every day per day in our body. And we can consider this water can be produced or consumed by chemical reactions in, uh, within the body. For example, condensation or hydrolysis in the formation of peptide bonds between amino acids. You remember that uh, a generation of protein uh, polypeptide bond formation. And thank you for your attention.